What's up Kavari crew? Welcome back to my channel. So this video, I feel like ever since I announced my pregnancy, was so highly requested. And that is sharing with you guys the baby names that I personally love, but that I don't really see myself using. So I'm having a boy, but I am also going to be sharing with you guys the girl names that I love that I don't really ever see myself using. I mean, never say never, but these are just a list of names that I've always thought were really cute and most likely won't be using. I think I've said that 3,001 times. But anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, hello, welcome, I'd love for you to join the Kavari crew. All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button down below and also give this video a big thumbs up. And also make sure you guys turn on notifications because YouTube likes to play around with the algorithm and all that stuff. So you guys never miss a notification from me. But before we get into these names, I want to do a quick haul with one of my favorite online stores, which is Shein. I've done a haul with Shein in the past before and I feel like Shein has just been like like dominating Instagram lately I've been seeing them everywhere and for good reason their quality is so incredible and their prices are so affordable and they have such a wide variety of clothing items like they range from like sporty to chic to you know like super trendy items but they also have a lot of very classic and like basic items they just really hit it with every single type of style. I swear, everybody, no matter what your style is, you will find something that you like on Shein. So I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of clothes that I recently ordered from them. And now through December 2nd, you guys can take advantage of Shein's annual Black Friday sale. You guys can get up to 90% off on select items. And then also if you use my code at checkout, you can get an additional 15% off. So if you use my code Nazanin, I'll put on the screen as well as in the description box, you can get another 15% off your order. Shein also gives you free returns for up to 40 days after your order and then also you get free shipping on orders over $49 and keeping it 100 I am working with Shein. They are sponsoring this video but that does not change my opinion on the clothing. I really really do love their clothing and they're constantly adding more and more styles every day. They add up to five hundred different styles on the site every single day so make sure you guys checking back every single day for some new pieces and without further ado let's get right into this haul everything that i'm showing you guys today will be linked in the description box for you guys first outfit i have to show you guys from shein is so cute the whole fit is from shein the dress the shoes the purse and i'm obsessed with it so we have this orange dress it is so cute with a baby bump so there is a clasp right here so if you don't want to show any cleavage you can but i decided to wear this off the shoulder just because i feel like it added a little touch but here is the full fit because that's definitely a challenge for me right now is still being cute and comfortable while pregnant and this dress just embodies it so here's a side view back view and the shoes are also from Shein as well and they're just white pointed to Nala you gotta do that right now here's an up close shot of the purse but I'm so obsessed with it I love little dainty bags like this here's the back and then here is a close-up of the shoe so again just white pointed toe the heel is not super high at all so they're super comfortable wow this dress is adorable it is this knit sweater dress and it comes with this belt this belt is removable so you can easily take this off and put like a little chain belt if you want but this is another dress that looks so good with the baby bump and I would style this with the purse and the heels from the last dress as well this is just such a cute, sophisticated fall outfit. Like this dress, what really makes it is the sleeves. I love how they're poofy like that. Here it is from the back. It looks so good. We got another cute ass fit over here. This is a bodysuit and pants, both from Shein. When I tell you guys, this quality is top notch. Like I'm shook. I feel like the quality is even better than the last haul I did with them. It's like they improved it and it was already like good to begin with. So this bodysuit is fire. Um, you can see my bra straps with it, but if I just like put my hair over it, you can't see it. And these pants are fire. So you guys know I haven't really been buying pants because you know I'm pregnant and stuff. 
but I've just really been sticking to like maternity jeans, maternity leggings, but these are super stretchy, so they fit really well. They're so comfortable. I'm also wearing those white heels that I've been wearing with every single outfit just so I'm not barefoot because that would not be cute with this fit, but I really like these pants. I wouldn't really pair it with this bodysuit per se. I have another bodysuit and pants combo. So up top we have this black bodysuit that's ruched. I don't know if you guys can see the detailing. It's super flattering. I'm not even wearing a bra with it and you can't even see your nipples, which is great. And the sleeves, as you guys can see, are sheer. I love how they're kind of like puffy and the main part of the bodysuit is tighter. By the way, I got a medium in all the bodysuits. Um, if I wasn't pregnant, I would have gone a small, but the mediums fit me perfectly with the bump that I have right now. And these pants, I don't know if I would pair it with this bodysuit. I mean, I don't think it looks bad, but I don't know if I'd pair these together per se, but these pants, again, so incredibly comfortable. I'm so happy I'm finding pants that work for me during this pregnancy because I don't want to just wear leggings for the next like nine months again these are like the other pants but they're not super like paper baggy like the other ones and they're extremely stretchy and plaid the pants are super flattering on the butt you guys can see the bump but yeah overall i really like these and they have pockets which is always a plus so i have a matching skirt and blazer set to show you guys before i pop on the blazer i want to show you guys this bodysuit that's also from shein as well it is just a basic black scoop neck um bodysuit which is so perfect for this fall i feel like this is just a wardrobe necessity that everybody needs it's going to be great with just like jeans by itself or to layer underneath jackets and scarves and things like that the quality of this skirt you guys i'm genuinely shocked by the price and how good this quality is so it is houndstooth the fact that i squeezed my six month pregnant self into this has me amazed and i'm actually comfortable so here's what the matching blazer looks like you guys this quality is insane i wish you guys could feel the quality through the screen so here is the blazer jacket and the skirt together again the white heels that actually goes really well with this outfit as well this is freaking adorable i love it here it is from the side I kept that same bodysuit on and I have another dress to show you guys. This is so perfect for fall. I would pair this with some black thigh high boots and it would make such a cute fall outfit. So this is just a bodycon plaid dress. It's super stretchy and super comfortable, but I think this will look extra cute. I know I keep on saying turtleneck bodysuit, turtleneck bodysuit, but this will look fire with a turtleneck bodysuit underneath and some thigh high boots. You are so ready for fall. So yeah, this is another dress. Last clothing item I have to show you guys is this light washed cropped denim jacket. I just threw it over the outfit I was wearing, but this is just like the perfect staple denim jacket. I love that it's not super stiff and structured. It's very flexible and soft. Then I have one more item to show you guys from Shein and it is this purse. I love little shoulder bags like this and I feel like this crocodile skin is really in right now. So I got it in this orangey brown color. It's so cute. So yeah guys, that's everything I got from Shein. Everything will be linked down below for y'all. Okay, so now onto the baby names. So I made a list on my phone, so I'm gonna be reading them off of here. So let me know down in the comments if you like any of these names or if you have any of these names, that'd be really cool. But if you do have any of these names and I'm like saying I'm not gonna use it, please don't get offended because obviously I still like it if it's on the list. But yeah, let me know your baby names that you like but you won't be using down below, I'd love to know. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with girls first. So on the list, the first name that I have is Anastasia. I think this name is so beautiful and it sounds so European and like exotic. I think it's such a beautiful name, but I just don't really see it fitting in with Mel and I. And you know, I love the nickname like Stas and like Stasi, and I just think it's a really, really beautiful name and it just like flows off of your tongue. So I really, really like that name. Um, again, I just don't really see it fitting in with like Mel and I. 
but overall it's a really beautiful name next name i have on the list is bella so bella i just think it's just such a cute and feminine girly name um i don't like the full name isabella like i just like bella and whenever I think of the name Bella, I think of Bella Hadid, and she's like one of the most gorgeous people. So I really, really love that name. I don't think I would be using it because I just feel like it's a very common name. Um, you know, Mel and I both have very different, unique names. My name is Nazanin, Mel's real name is Kwamel. So we want our kids to also have a more, you know, a less common name. So that is a reason why I wouldn't be using Bella, but I think it's such a beautiful name. So next up on this list, y'all might think I'm crazy, but I love the name James for a girl. Um, I think uh, Blake Lively's daughter's name is James or the middle name is James, but I just think that name is so cute. I really like it as a middle name, like if you had something and then James and then the last name. I know James is typically a masculine name and a boy name, but you gotta admit, James is a hot name for a girl, especially in the middle, as a middle name. Mel totally does not like the idea, but I think it's really cute. I got a friend, I have a few girlfriends when I was younger, their names were like Ryan and Hunter and Adrian. Like I really like names for girls that also work for boys as well. Hold on, my Postmates is messaging me. I had an enchilada craving, so. Oh, he's approaching with our order. Okay, so back to the names. The next girl name I have on this list is the name Sierra. I think Sierra is such a beautiful name, but I already know two Sierras and I don't know, it's just, it's hard for me to picture naming my child a name of someone that I know. Um, I don't know, I feel like that's a reason why I don't really want to use it. And then also, Sierra, I played a character in this like little episode of a show. Um, it's not on TV or anything if you like try to go look for it, but I played like this character named Sierra and I love that character so much. I feel like out of all the characters that I've played so far, um, that one I could relate to the most. I felt like it was the most me. So I really, I have like an attachment to that name. I think it's so pretty. And I I think like the name like Cece would be cute, you know, for like Sierra. But again, just cause I know like a few Sierras, I just like don't, it's like weird for me to call my child that when I know people with that name. Next up on the list, we have the name Penelope. Penelope definitely grew on me. When Kourtney Kardashian named her daughter Penelope, I did not like it at first. Um, but that name just grew on me so much. You know, the brand fam named their daughter Penelope, and I just think it's such a cute and like feminine name, and the nickname Nelly would be so cute for it. So yeah, I think that's just like, it just embodies like, it's just like such a cute name, like a little girl named Penelope. It's like, oh, like you're so cute. You know what I mean? So I really like that name as well. Let me see if I can get through all the girl names before the Postmates gets up here. But I have two more names on the list. The next name I have on the list is Rain, spelled R-E-I-G-N. I think that name is so cute. This is a name I think I would like for a boy and a girl. So I, I see Rain being more of a middle name, but you know what, this, I'm not sure if this is gonna be on the names I wouldn't be using list. I could see myself putting this as a middle name for our daughter in the future, but I definitely wouldn't use that as a first name, but I just, love it i love the sound like i just love like rain because you think of like actual raindrops rain pouring but then it really means you know like a rain like royalty type of thing oh, last name i have on this list if you guys are fans of aspen and parker you have already heard of this name but cove oh my gosh they snapped with that name that is such a freaking cute name when they announced the name at first i was like i have never heard of that name before in my life but they snapped like cove is such a cute name but definitely i don't see it fitting in with mel and i i think for aspen and parker um that name just like embodies them so perfectly and that's what i want for the name for our child like i really want when you guys hear the name to be like that just like matches Nas and Mel like so well you know what I mean so I love the name they did their thing with that name but I just don't see it working for Mel and I like I hope when it comes to naming my future daughter like I snap that hard so that is the list for all the girls names again let me know down below if you like any of the names as well or if that is your name like that'd be really cool so yeah that's it for the girls and now let's move on to the boys hold on i think it's my mel 
You got the food? Yeah. Okay, good, because the postman's just called me, then he hung up, and then I heard noise at the door. Mel just came home. Um, okay, so we're moving on to boys' names. First name I have on the list is the name Wolf. If you guys are fans of Tammy Hembrow, then you know that her son is named Wolf. I love the name Wolf since she announced it like years ago. I don't even know how old Wolf is now. I think he's like turning five. So I remember five years ago, like I've been following her for years. I remember when she announced that name. I'm like, that is such a beautiful name for a boy. It's just so masculine and powerful. I really love the name Wolf for a boy. But again, don't see it working with Mel and I. I feel like I'm saying that for every name. See, that's like the main reason I'm not going with any of these names is because I just don't see it like fitting with our vibes. It just doesn't like really fit in with us. So Wolf, like the nickname Wolfie, like, oh my gosh, how cute. This is such a cute name. Next up on the list is a Persian name. Well, I'm gonna give you guys the English pronunciation, but the name Cyrus. Again, a super just powerful name. I love that for boys. Like I really love just like a strong masculine name. So I really like the name Cyrus. In Farsi, it would be Cyrus. So honestly, I don't wanna say that I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't use that name. I just, I don't think Mel is that big of a fan of the name, but I just, like, being Persian, I've just, I've known a few Cyruses, and I really like the name Cyrus. It's just, it's a very old name. I know that makes it sound bad, but it's, like, not ancient name. I mean, it is, like, Cyrus the Great and stuff like that, and I do like the Farsi pronunciation of it as well. So, this one on the list, it's, like, a maybe maybe i might use in the future if we have other kids we already have our son's name picked out but this name maybe in the future if mel is down we might name our son cyrus um on that list again i have the name rain like i mentioned earlier that is a unisex name that i do like for both boy and girl but i do like it as a middle name either way then next name on the list is the name I'm almost done. Okay, two more names, because mom wants me to go eat my nachos before they go bad. <laughs> so, we have the name on the list, Klaus. If you guys are fans of Vampire Diaries, then you guys have heard the name Klaus before. He is a character on the show, and as much as you want to hate Klaus, you love him. Like, he's like the villain in the show, but like, He's so charming and like sly, like you just can't help but love Klaus. But regardless of the character, this is just a name that just has a lot of power behind it. I just love the spelling. I love, I like to spell K-L-A-U-S. Um, again, don't see it fitting Mel and I. I think out of all the names on the boy list, the name I could see us naming our like son the most is Cyrus, but Klaus, it's i don't see it ever happening but i just i really like the name like if i met a guy named klaus i'd be like oh my gosh it's like such a dope name you know what i mean so last name on this list is okay so it's cameron with a k but i don't like it pronounced cameron i like the farsi pronunciation which is Kamran. like i like the name Kamran, but obviously if i would name my son Kamran, Americans would name him Cameron, you know? So I do like the name a lot, but again, like, I just, I know he's gonna be called Cameron, and I don't want him, his name to be Cameron. Again, that's just a little bit too common for me. So if everyone just knew to pronounce it the Farsi way, I might use this name, but I know that's just like not gonna happen, you know? So that is it for all the names. Again, let me know down below. I love talking baby names. So let me know some of your favorite baby names down below. I mean, we have the name picked out, but you know, who knows? It could not be set in stone. If we see a name in the comments that we really like, we might end up using that. So leave a comment down below and make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. What am I even saying right now? I'm just like too excited about my nachos. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below. Make sure you guys check out all the links for Shein and also use my promo code Nazanine for 15% off your order. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.